products in ferrol, kits and halogenes. Now, in this preparation methods, properties are important. So, I start with preparation methods of alkyl halides. So, we can prepare alkyl halides from uh, alkanes, alkenes, even from alcohols also. You see one by one. Alkyl uh, from alkanes is to uh, substitution reaction we can prepare is uh, alkyl halides. Suppose if you want to prepare alkyl bromide, we need to use bromine plus air or uh, BR3. Here it acts as a Lewis acid. And if you want to prepare alkyl chloride, we need to use chlorine in the presence of sunlight. Here it follows periodical mechanism. Next one, iodine by using HiO3. As we can prepare uh, alkyl iodide. This way we can prepare alkyl bromide, alkyl chloride, alkyl iodide also. Next one, from alkenes. Alkenes generally the unsaturated hydrocarbons undergo addition reactions. Now here what we do? HX. Uh, uh, hydroaric acid will uh, add. In that uh, case what happens? Addition takes place. It's present X minus will they uh, join in or uh, different carbons. Suppose here it is an uh, symmetrical alkene. Symmetrical, uh, in case of symmetrical alkene, uh, for unsaturated carbon, one of the unsaturated carbon will get uh, uh, hydrogen, another one will get halogen. In that way, we can prepare. But in case of unsymmetrical, in case of unsymmetrical, we, uh, we must follow selectivity. That is called Markovnikov's rule. Markovnikov's. What is Markovnikov's rule? Uh, in case of unsymmetrical alkenes, negative part will be joined to the carbon which contain less number of hydrogens. Which contain less number of hydrogens. Suppose R C H double bond C H two. Here this contain less number of hydrogens. So here negative part will be joined. Uh, for next carbon, hydrogen will be joined. So that rule is called Markovnikov's rule. There, there only one more rule is the anti-Markovnikov's rule. Anti-Markovnikov's rule in case of bromic compound we can observe. Uh, Anti-Markovnikov's rule means we add peroxides. In case of peroxides, anti-Markov means Native part will be joined to the carbon which contain more number of hydrogens because of this anti marconic rule. That is also called peroxide effect uh, also. Uh, in presence of peroxides, especially while adding bromine, those uh, 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 anti marconic rule we can observe because it can form free radicals easily. Next one from alcohols. From alcohols by using uh, ECL5 we can prepare, red phosphorus with bromine we can uh, prepare, red phosphorus with iodine we can prepare, SOCl2 also we can use. Uh, among all, this is the best method you all can use because the formed byproducts are all gases, so uh, separation will be easy. SOCl2 is the preferable method for the preparation of. Alkyl halides, red phosphorus with iodine gives alkyl iodide, red phosphorus with bromine gives red, uh, alkyl bromide, PCL5 or PCL3 gives alkyl chlorides. And this is called uh, concentrated CL and red and CL2, uh, glucose reagent also, even RCL. This uh, process is called Dawson's method, this is called loose process. Names also important, better to learn. One more, one more method, Hans-Liga reaction. Here, when we take silver salts of carboxylic acids, we take silver salts of carboxylic acids. For that, we add bromine. Here, what happens? AgBr will remove and CO2 gas will come out. This Br will join here, RBR. So, in this way, we prepare alkyl bromide by using this reaction. Liga reaction. Next one, Pinkett's Lane reaction. This is well known reaction when you mention the oxidation is there. Here, what is a uh, displacement reaction? Among um, iodine, which will uh, displace bromine forms uh, C2H5I means lower uh, haloalkanes can be converted to higher haloalkanes. Next one, preparation of allyl halides. Preparation of allyl halides. Here, chlorobenzene, if you want to prepare chlorine. By using any Lewis acid. Bromobenzene, if you want to prepare bromine plus Lewis acid, because this Lewis acid will convert uh, uh, chlorine to chlorine uh, L profile, so, uh, Cl plus, even Pr plus. Here, iodine, in case of iodine, HIO3 we use iodic acid. That is also convert 
lines synthesis next one uh nax uh, in dry liquor this is called wood reaction we wood reaction what we prepare now alkyl halides we prepare hydrocarbons next one uh rcoo az our reaction is silver salts of carboxylic acid from that what we get esters we get next one kcl is an important component is uh, here it is ionic compound so what we get rcn as it is rcn we get this is covalent compound since it is covalent compound nitrogen acts as uh, nucleophile so here r and c will form this is also called ambidentate nucleophile because two different types of donor centers are there even in case of kno we get rono Case of AcNO2, what we get RnO2. These are important chemical properties. Okay, here chemical properties of aryl halides. In chemical properties of aryl halides. Uh, Nucleophilic substitution reaction is possible with uh, elevated uh, temperature and means uh, under extraordinary conditions, nucleophilic substitution reaction also takes place. See here. Three twenty atmosphere pressure we need to maintain temperature must be three or one hundred and sixty degrees Celsius. In that, in those conditions, nucleophilic substitution reaction is possible. Donor will be replaced by O H. This reaction is called dose process. Maximum uh, aromatic compounds undergo electrophilic substitution reactions. These are all electrophilic substitution reactions. Substitution reactions. Here, what happens? You see. Uh, alkyl halide is obtained from anhydrous AlCl3. Anhydrous, you may know uh, right here. Anhydrous AlCl3, which is ortho para methyl uh, alkyl aryl halides. This is called Friedel-Crafts alkylation. Same process we can apply for acylation also. In place of alkyl halide, acyl chloride if you take or uh, acetic anhydride if you take. Acyl group will be substituted on the right pair of positions. Condition is same. Anhydrous AlCl3. If you want to substitute bromine, you need to take FeBr3 as acid. Then uh, in that condition you get ortho and para bromo uh, compounds. Next one, chlorine. Chlorination also in terms of anhydrous AlCl3. This is called nitration. In nitration also, uh, ortho and para. Reaction because this is ortho para directly group. These are all the examples of electrophilic substitution reactions. Next one, this already you know, NA in dry ether. Dry ether, alkyl halide we took. So, alkyl halide and aryl uh, halide. Aryl uh, halide, if you take what happens, this alkyl group will be substituted here. This alkyl benzene we get. This is called Wood's fitting reaction. One aryl halide or alkyl halide if it is present whose fitting reaction both are aryl compound fitting reaction one is alkyl one is aryl whose fitting next one this one uh, reduction you see here a hydrogen is supplied in the presence of nickel and aluminium alloy the presence of base here chlorine will be replaced by hydrogen so if you want to convert chlorobenzene into benzene use this reagent so these are the main chemical properties of aryl halides next one applications of grignard reagent the grignard reagent is very very important various compounds can be prepared by using grignard reagent or uh, if you uh, pass formaldehyde upon grignard reagent you get primary alcohols primary alcohols because here grignard reagent supplies negative alkyl group next one if you take alde uh, acetaldehyde acetaldehyde it gives secondary alcohols uh, if you use ketones tertiary alcohols can uh, we can uh, prepare so in this way primary secondary and tertiary alcohols can be prepared by using different carbonyl compound next one if you uh, pass water or alcohol any proton related proton donor Protic solvent. If you use, you get respective hydrocarbon. This bond will be cut and hydrogen will be joined here. Next one, uh, if you use alkyl uh, iodide, here what happens? MgXI will be separated. Alkyl group will be joined.
combined with this. So, R R dash, alpha hydrocarbons can be prepared by using this method. Right? If you pass carbon dioxide upon without reacting, we get carboxylic acid, respective carboxylic acids we get. Next one, some uh, polyhydrogen compounds. This is chloroform. Chloroform, uh, if you keep in the presence of light or a fence, which gas will be released? Phosphine gas, CO, Cl2, uh, liver liver and kidney damage also. Next one, so it is uh, considered as a poisonous gas. Next one, iodoform. Iodoform used as antiseptic. Next one, freons, uh, used as uh, chlorofluorocarbons, Cf2Cl2. We, uh, those are used as the presents. So these are some important things you just thank you.